Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this evening's commencement ceremony, the 92nd commencement for St. Peter's Parish and School. And we begin this evening, as we begin everything we do here at St. Peter's, of course, with a prayer. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Almighty Father, we come before you and humbly beg you that with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you might send down your Holy Spirit upon these soon-to-be graduates of St. Peter's High School. Keep them at all times, we pray, virtuous in a holy fear of you, just in providing for others what is due to them, valiant in defending your truth, knowledgeable of what pleases you, desirous to put into action the Catholic faith instilled in them over these recent years, and keep them always grateful for what they have received from you during their time at St. Peter's, through their parents, guardians, priests, teachers, and all who have formed them to live the truth of the gospel. As you commissioned the apostles through your son to go forth and bear fruit that will remain, we too send these graduates forth, entrusting them to your care as laborers in your vineyard. May they always seek your wisdom and not the wisdom of the world. May they be steadfast in living that same wisdom concretely in the world and may they always labor for the reward of eternal life with you we ask this through christ our lord amen, amen. in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen. at this time i turn the microphone over to mr katita good evening thank you all of Thank you to all of you for joining us for this graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Although these circumstances are unusual, this is still a time to celebrate our terrific senior class. Speaking tonight will be three members of that class, salutorian Olivia Gatchel and valedictorians Zoe Blank and Kevin Maxwell. These three are excellent representatives of their class because not only do they excel academically, but they also excel athletically, musically, and robotically. Sorry, Olivia. If more so, not only are they great in the classroom, um, but they are also terrific people. They embody the teachings of Jesus Christ in, in how they act, and what they do, and how they care about one another. And so, uh, it is with great, great pride that I introduce our next speaker, the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Olivia Gatchel. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, because I certainly can't hear anything. Um, I guess I'm going. All right. <laughs> so if you'll give me a moment, please. All right. So hello and good evening, everyone. I would like to begin by taking a moment to thank all those who stood by our side during our journey. To the teachers and faculty, thank you for giving us the school we know and love. Without you, St. Peter's wouldn't be the home it has been for many of its students. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us and for your assistance wherever we may need it. But most importantly, thanks for putting up with all, all of our shenanigans we've caused throughout these years. 
to the families. Thank you for taking care of us and for raising us to be the fantastic young men and women we, have be we are today. Thank you for your support and guidance, for all the hugs, for making sure we get up in the morning to make it to school on time. Thank you for all that you have done so that today we could stand, or for many of us sit among you and make you all proud. And to my fellow classmates, thank you for just being you because without all of you, we would have no class of St. Peter's class of 2020. As one of the students who started out in the Montessori building, it seems like I've been at St. Pete's forever. Back then, the future seemed so distant. Graduation was something that we need not worry about as the most important thing was getting to make macaroni art and who is the day's snack parent. But wow, did these years fly by fast. It seems like only yesterday we are in elementary and all the technological shifts from the smart board to our first school iPads and the growing unbearable anticipation of first creating our shops for the fourth grade sale and later the big sixth grade trip to Mohican. Back then, we could only dream of what high school would be like, but then all of a sudden we were in junior high, bitter about the lack of snacks and recess, still feeling like graduation was decades away. But today, here we are, despite everything that has happened. Sure, this wasn't the senior year that we dreamed of, but we made the best of it. Even though we missed out on some key events, we will always have the rest of our memories we've made here at St. Peter's. We will never forget all the laughs and friendships we've had throughout the years, and we will certainly never forget having a virtual graduation. Getting to grow up with all of you has been an honor. I'm amazed at who each of you has become and all you've accomplished, and I can't wait to see what you all do next. Despite what the world has thrown at us, we did it. Congratulations, class of 2020, and thanks again to all of those who helped us get here. It is now my honor to introduce the next speaker, valedictorian Zoe Blank. Good evening, administrators, teachers, classmates, family, and friends. Thank you for being here to support the class of 2020 during these unprecedented times. When we started our days until graduation countdown on the board in Mrs. Zender's room, none of us expected our graduation to look like this. In fact, our class has gone through a lot of unexpected things over the past four years. After learning under three different principals, having our junior homecoming canceled due to snow, and being the first senior class to experience the Damascus retreat, we've certainly had a special high school experience. Sadly, this experience has been capped off by the loss of our senior prom, May crowning, baccalaureate mass, and the rest of our senior traditions. But these traditions do not define us. Our character does, and I'd say our class has a lot of personality. First off, the class of 2020 is extremely talented. 32 of us played at least one sport during high school, 16 of us are musicians, and 13 of us have been involved with the theater department, whether it be on stage, in the orchestra, or behind the scenes in tech crew. We have athletes committed to play a sport in college, students taking their experience from mock trial into their future with a political science or criminal justice degree, and so many more talented, dedicated people that are taking something they learned at St. Pete's and making a future out of it. It's so easy to brag about my classmates because they're all so passionate about what they do and it shows through all of their hard work. Our class is also very funny. The boys homeroom is well known for their karaoke Fridays. I honestly cannot tell you how many times I've heard a classroom full of high schoolers start singing I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. In the girls' homeroom, we frequently played basketball using crumpled up paper and a student as the hoop. This group was loud whenever we got the opportunity. When we had access to Mr. Strang's train whistle, there was truly never a dull moment. Our class is also the reason many teachers are now proud owners of a worm on a string toy. Over the years, we've picked up inside jokes with other classes. Sad, but 100% preventable. I need to find myself a witch and let's go home to name a few. We also can't forget our own class slogan, Jimmy's Chin. This sense of humor has shown in every bus ride, assembly and presentation our class has had a part of and I wouldn't have it any other way. The class of 2020 is competitive. Between the Powderpuff slash dodgeball tournaments, the Penny Wars and the Iditarod, 
we've definitely taken school-wide competition very seriously. Our most recent victory came not over other students, but over the teachers themselves. In February, we all raised money to save up for a mascot costume, but more importantly, to earn the prize of smashing a pie in a teacher's face. Our goal was met and every teacher involved earned a pie to the face and our very own senior Bryce Dix was able to pie Mr. Cutita himself. I honestly think Bryce put more money into that competition than the rest of us combined. We're competitive in academics too. You can see that just by looking around at all the students with honor cores right now and it's been this way since freshman year. We have a lot of personal and class-wide victories to be proud of. We've also got tons of school spirit. This might not always be obvious, but during basketball season, it comes out full force. We had seniors this year coordinating student section themes and cheers, as well as pep rallies during tournament season. Though we may sometimes be close to falling asleep in the classroom, we bring exciting energy to the court, field, or anywhere else we go to support the Spartans. Above all, we are persistent. When things get tough, we push through, whether it be individual struggles or shared hardships. We lift each other up through the bad times, even if it's something as simple as a smile or words of encouragement. Every single person in our class has a story, including challenges they have conquered. In terms of the pandemic, we've been dealt a bad hand, but I know that we can and will find joy in the little things. We will take pictures in our prom outfits, put signs in our yards and have car parades. And when the time comes, we will all meet up again to celebrate our accomplishments in person. Until then, we will persist through the bad times and keep looking forward. This is the class of 2020. We are a class of avid readers, team captains, and creators. We are future lawyers, medical professionals, engineers, and educators. Our class is serving God, our country, and our community. I can't pretend to know what lies ahead, but I do know that whatever it is, we can handle it. Thank you for an amazing four years and congratulations to the class of 2020. I now have the honor of introducing my friend and co-valedictorian, Kevin Maxwell. Hello online listeners and welcome to the second best valedictorian speech ever given on Zoom. Welcome to the hackers who are undoubtedly going to skip this Zoom for the one that is inevitably more interesting. Welcome and thank you to Father Height, Father Austin, Mr. Cutita, Mr. Coleman, and Mr. Lesher. And more importantly, welcome senior class of 2020 to the culmination of perhaps the worst senior year in St. Peter's history. As all of you know, this year has been a nightmare with missing out on Kairos, the unfortunate health issues that the Henrik family have dealt with, missing prom, postponing in-person baccalaureate and graduation, quarantine, and a collective Netflix addiction from which we may never recover. I always expected the year of 2020 to be a satisfying conclusion to my high school career. No one could have predicted just how much we would lose. We remain in times of great stress, loneliness, and fear with no concrete signs of relief. That is why I choose to focus on the positive, on the most important message for these times and for the future. We will always have hope. As the listeners of this speech know, the class of 2020 is something special. How often do you witness the huge quantity of bright, eager students that this class possesses? How often do you see a group of our character, humor, and work ethic? I could go on and on listing the awards, scholarships, and accomplishments of my classmates, but we already had an award video with maybe one too many Steelers references. Instead, I wanna focus on what you, fellow classmates, can achieve. I say I want to focus on hope because I know that every one of you has a bright future. I say with certainty that in five years, when we meet for our class reunion, we will be reminded of just how much potential we had and still have. I want you to remind yourself that even in the midst of a global pandemic, you have the potential to succeed. I want you to remember that you got this far and you will continue to excel as long as you do your best. Look where we've gotten already. Aside from personal hope in our future careers, I think the most important form of hope to take into the future is hope for people. Of course, personal success is important, but what does that matter if you live in a penthouse when there are homeless on the street outside the building? What does it matter that you observe personal hygiene if you don't encourage others to do so? What does it matter if you donate money when you only do it to look good? 
When I ask you to have hope for people, I ask you to care for your fellow man and ensure the prosperity of the human race, not just the human individual. I ask you to hope that the person you meet on the street has potential, not because they can make you rich, but because they are human. Sure, the class of 2020 has plenty of bright minds, but what differentiates our class going forward from any other isn't our most recent job promotion. It isn't our salary. The thing that will make us special is our kindness, fueled by our hope in others and our race as a whole. Hope that in the end, we will succeed as a people. If you take any, away anything from what I have said today, remember that we are in this together. I refer to Barack Obama's quote on hope. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. Fellow students of the St. Peter's graduating class of 2020, I implore you to carry the message of hope into your life, remembering that you can always make positive change in your life and the lives of others. In the end, your accomplishments amount to nothing if they didn't help others. Remind yourself that you have the power to make change as long as you hope for a better world. And now that hope has stopped sounding like a word, I wanna say one final thing before I turn it over to Mr. Keith Darcy to announce the graduates. Enjoy the rest of summer, enjoy college, enjoy every part of your future. And most of all, remember that brevity is the soul of wit. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Keith Darcy, and as this year's senior class advisor, it is my distinct privilege to announce this year's graduates of St. Peter's High School. Tegan Elizabeth Allen. Um, thank you to everyone who's ever supported me, and Thank you to my entire class for making this year so memorable and my entire educational career memorable. I'll miss you guys all when I go to college. Zoe Marie Blank. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Thank you everyone all for got. all the memories. Sure. <laughs> Richard Mark Bond. <laughs> well, you're not still on, are you? Hi, guys. Thanks for everything you've done for me. You guys are awesome. I'm going to miss you all. Jimmy Ray Carroll III, Sydney Marie Cavanaugh, I'm just sitting there. Ian. Thank you to all my friends and my family and everyone who supported me. Ian Asher Chambers. Uh, thank you guys for uh, making a lot of memories and having a lot of fun. And uh, love you guys. Eliana Olivia Sherrill. <laughs> Woo! Congrats, Ellie. <laughs> Daniel Westmoreland Condon. Yeah. I have one uh, big thank you for the last four years and beyond it's simply been an adventure and we did not expect it to end this way but i think we've all tried to make the best of it Matthew Donovan uh hello 
Thank you for the, uh, can you please? Thank you for the enjoyable four year experience. Um, I've had a lot of fun with everybody. I've made a lot of memories. Um, it's been a very good year overall, even with all of the chaos and drama. Bryce Thomas Dix. Uh, thank you everybody for everything you've done for me. Uh, shout out to everybody watching at home. Love everybody. Uh, and yeah, go cats. And you don't need to keep the spotlight on me. You can move it now. Lily Christine Fitzgerald. B. Bye. Adrian Eric Frank. Okay, there we oh. go. Yay! Thank you guys for the, the great years. Oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations. Nailed it. <laughs> Olivia Rose Gatchel. Uh, thanks again, everyone, and good luck in whatever future endeavors. And yeah. <laughs> We're done here. Elias Bye, Andrew Gursky. <laughs> what does that have to do? <laughs> Thanks for all the good memories. Thanks for a great four years. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 220. We're looking forward to great things from you guys. God bless. <laughs> Benjamin James Hahn. Oh, shoot. Thanks all my friends and family and everybody that's watching at home. Love you guys. Congratulations, Ben. Good job, Ben. Woo, woo, woo. Love you, Ben. Madison Morade Harden. Uh, thank you to everyone, whole class of 2020. I'll miss you guys. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> Okay. Noah Mitchell Jensen. <laughs> Brandon Hunter Cash. Thank you, my classmates and my peers. It's been a wild ride. And we'll miss you guys. Till we meet again. Yeah. Julia Ryan Kearney. Hi, my family doesn't want to make this uh, an awkward 20 seconds, so we're going to do what we do best and we're going to dance. Uh, thank you very much to my class of 2020 and my family. Uh, you guys made the rough time better, 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 better. and thing with the good times. Thank you very much. Kevin Joseph. Yeah, that didn't mean you think you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to every member. Billy Blank is typing on my Snapchat. And um, good luck. <laughs> Thanks to friends and family. I love you. Woo! I don't know. I don't want to open it because I don't want to miss all the things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, class of 2020. Um, I wish all you guys best of luck in the future. It's been awesome. <laughs> Brandon Michael Pindle. Hi, everybody. 
don't really have anything to thank because everything that would be said has already been said. All I gotta say is I'm, I have been the, uh, as far as I know, the first uh, varsity esports player that has come from St. Peter's. I'm just here to flex on you all. Rise up, my gamers. That's all I have to say. Bye. Rowan Marie Pruitt Miller. There we go. I think it worked. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family and teachers for making this last year, although kind of a disaster, really memorable and really special. Yeah. Jonah Kane Ramey. Thanks to all my whole class, to everybody making this past four years uh, such a fun time. I think I had more fun than I learned things, but it was such a great time with you guys, and I couldn't imagine doing it with anyone else. everybody for such a great four years. I made a lot of memories this year and in high school and congrats to everybody and good luck next year. <laughs> Nicole Lee Shemini. Hello everybody. I just want to say thank you for these last four years. I want to say thank you to my lunch table this year for always making lunch so fun. I want to thank Zoe Blank for always being my arrival every single day at school, and Mr. Darcy for always making me cry. Thank you, guys. <laughs> John Robert Schlitt. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Tangy and go Xavier. Go. Go, Bobby. Go, Charles <laughs> Richard Seltzer. That's one of those things that that's right. Yourself. That's right. Well, there's the Seltzer. Okay. Uh, hope everyone can hear me. I would like to take this time to thank the faculty for um, uh, educating me, and I would like to thank my class for making that educational experience actually bearable. Um, congratulations to the class of 2020. That was the worst hey. balloon pop ever. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Happy graduation. Yep. Congrats. Chase Coulter Smith. That's all I'm doing. I'll explain it later. Chase Michael Smith. All right. I'd like to thank my classmates and would like to thank you for the amazing years. Uh, yeah, thank you and congrats yeah, to the class of 2020. Can you go on there? No, I'm done. That's it. I graduated. That's it. Caleb Thomas Tate. <laughs> Oh, my turn. Okay. So, um, I was not expecting this, but thank you to all my friends, family, and the faculty for helping me get through high school. And congratulations to the class of 2020. I'd also like to take a moment to thank my grandmother for supporting me through every step of this journey. Peace out. Okay. Oh. Alexandria Louise Taylor. Ooh. Ooh, come on, Goldie. <laughs> Sophie Marie Tritico. Unmute. All right. Uh, yeah, college shirt, because that's what everybody's doing. Um, 
I love you guys. We've been here. Most of us have been here since preschool, which was like 13 years ago. So we have a lot of memories and I wouldn't have wanted to spend senior year with anybody else. So What's the link? Lamont Wellington. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, can I hear you? 20 seconds ain't justice, but I just want to say I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Friends, family members, members of the parish community, I present to you St. Peter's High School's graduating class of 2020 graduates you may turn your tassels. Now we have our principal, John Cutita, who will have a few closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us this evening for this celebration of the class of 2020. Although I know it has been a challenging senior year, we remember the words of, of St. Peter in his first epistle. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. If you would now please join us in the singing of the alma mater. Jason, alma mater. Still One, two, three. Come, let's sing St. Peter's praise. With the great spirit we are filled Days and years will come and go In school halls we will learn to know Strong and true to all shit